So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the Eero app installed on your phone. After that, you want to go ahead and create a profile. And since this is an Amazon product, you do have the option to log in with your Amazon profile. And then it's going to give you a list of items that you need in order to complete this setup process. The next step is to unplug your modem and your router. From there, you want to grab the Ethernet cable that is included inside the box and connect it to your modem. In my case, I have a Google Fiber Jack, so I'm going to connect it to that. And then we're going to connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to any of the three Eero devices. And then we want to grab the power cord for the Eero device and plug that in as well. From there, you should see a flashing white light on the Eero device. So inside the app, you want to make sure you have location services turned on so that the app can locate your device. Once it has found your device, you can go ahead and set the location based on where it is inside your home. After that, you want to give your Eero Wi-Fi network a name as well as a password. Using your original Wi-Fi name and password will make sure that you don't lose connectivity on any of your connected device. So now we're ready to connect the second Eero device to our network. Once you've decided on a location, all you want to do is plug the device into the wall and wait for the flashing white light. Once that device is connected, you can go ahead and pick a location for that device as well. And now we're ready to repeat the exact same process for our third Eero device. So again, we're simply going to plug it into the wall and wait for the flashing white light. So once all three devices are connected, you want to make sure you have the latest firmware installed within the app. And then from there, you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, it does come with a 30 day free trial of Eero Secure, uh, which gives you some advanced security measures for your network. So one of those features is the option to add parental controls using profiles. So this is great if you have children, um, you can create a profile just for them. And they even have some default profiles based on age range. So for example, zero to five years old, you can see that it has a number of safety measures in place to make sure that your kids aren't visiting or accessing any apps or websites that they shouldn't. You can also customize these settings by blocking specific apps of your choice as well as specific websites. And you can assign these profiles to individual devices on your Wi-Fi network. So if your kids have a phone or maybe a tablet, all you have to do is select it from the list of devices and assign it to that profile. So you're able to see all of the devices connected to your Wi-Fi network and you can customize the settings for each one. So for example, if there is a device that you want to temporarily disconnect from your network, all you would have to do is click on it and then select pause. So again, this would be great if you have children and you want to limit their access to the internet. You also have the option to block devices from your network altogether. Um, so this is useful if there's a device on your network that you don't recognize. And then you can also keep track of overall internet speeds. So not only is this device going to help you improve your internet coverage, it also helps you control your Wi-Fi network. So that's it for this video. As always, stay tuned for more easy tech videos.